Oh, so how are we going to keep track of that? How will we keep track of that? How will we keep track of 36 times counting by tens? What can we do? Well, look here. So I've got a pen here. So first, so they decided you're going to count by tens, right? So the first group of 10 is? 10. Then? 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 101. Oh, is it 101 though? You count. 102. Well, you 110. 110 because you're following the pattern again. So 110. 120. 120. 150. 160. 170. 180. 190. 100. Oh. A million. A million? No. After 100. 2 million. 2 million? No. Because we went to 100. So then we go, stop because we're just guessing now. So let's think it through. We went to 100, right? So after 100 comes 1,000. After 100, 40, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190. We're now following the hundreds. So after 100 would come? 100. Uh, how many hundreds next? So first we have 100, then we have 200. So then we have 200 and 200 and okay, 230, 40, 250. 260, 270, 280, 290. So then what comes next? 300. Okay, but look. Hold on. My marker's dying, so I'll get a new one. So then we have 300 and? 10. 300 and? 20 because it follows the pattern still. Then 333. 300 and 34. Oh, stop because we're not thinking through the pattern anymore. See, we had 100 and then we went all the way up by tens. Then we had 200 and so went all the way up by tens. So then Brady, we had 300s and then we went 310. 320. Oh, if you want to be involved, you can be involved, but we're trying to organize the thinking. So we had 310, 300 and, 300 and, 300 and, 40. Then we have, what? So, so then for 36 pieces, we'd have, for 36, we had 350, now we'd have? 360. So how many slices are there? 360. There are 360 slices. Yeah. And by keeping track of the numbers, we were able to see how the pattern grew.